Hey guys, hello and welcome back to the October property market update. So we're now at the beginning of November and I'm here to review what's been going on in the month of October in the Wembley property market, looking at the HA0, HA9 postcodes. And this month has been another stonker with an yet another record being set across the board. So Right Mover said that prices have gone up 1.8% since last month, which is the highest October on record since 2015. And that is across all regions and across all buying sectors. So that's in the first time buyer category, the second stepper, and also the top of the ladder. So it really has been a stellar month of prices for sales agreed across the board. So what is the rest of the year gonna hold? Two more months and we'll see what happens, you know, 44 days or something like that to Christmas. So what else have we got to look at? Well, average, stock on the market at the moment this month has gone down 24% compared to this time last year. So you can see there is not the supply to meet the demand that we're looking for. That's on the sales side of things. With lettings, it's actually down 45%. Now, I think that is partly to do, but I'd be really interested to hear what you've got to say about that, partly to do with the fact that a lot of these big housing developments haven't been releasing lots of properties. I think a lot of those have been rented and they're not sitting around on the market like they were this time last year. If we look at um, Let's Agreed, that is up a massive 35%. So you can see demand is really high um, compared to this time last year but we're not getting the supply that's, uh, that's there to meet that demand. And sales agreed is actually down 41%, which is a, largely a reflection of what's available on the market at the moment. So, you know, the, uh, the maths are simple, right? If you are looking to put your property on the market, please get in touch because as I said, stock is really low and the, the, the really popular price band is 500 to 700,000. We can see over the last 12 months, the largest number of transactions were done in that area. And when we're looking at who's registering with us, that is the area where I would say sort of 50% of our buyers are looking because a lot of them are looking for that next step, that second step home, or perhaps they've they've not even got on the property ladder yet, but they've been able to save up a large enough deposit that that is their price band that they're looking at. So please, if you are looking for a property um, to put on the market, or if you have a property that you want to put on the market and you're within that price bracket or you think you might be, then please get in contact and we'd love to have a chat with you. We are running a Do Not Disturb campaign, so if you want to put the property on the market, sort of low key marketing now, and then go live um, at end of end of the year, beginning of next year, then what we can do is we can get all that marketing done now before you put up the Christmas decks and have it all ready for the beginning of the year so it still looks fresh and not tired where we've taken photos with Christmas decorations. Now, the other thing that I like to look at, as you know, each month is what was the most expensive property that came on the market this month? Well, what a stonk up. This month, there was a two million pound detached house came on the market. It's not sold yet though. Um, which is a three bed detached house in Barnhill. Like I said, two million pounds. When I finish, I will link it below uh, or above, probably below. And you can have a look and see what you think and see whether you think it's worth that killer price tag of two million pounds. Three bed detached house. It's got quite a lot of living space and a really beautiful garden. I mean, the photos of the garden look stunning, I must say, but two million pounds. Could, could Wembley now be in that two million pound price bracket? I'd love to know what you think about that. Anyway, till next month, when I might be donning some festive gear as it will be beginning of December by the time I record this. Um, I will look forward to seeing you all then. Have a great rest of November and um, I will see you when we're close to Christmas. Take care, bye bye.